بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از می نظیر احمد فرام پاکستان ٹو ڈے آور ٹاپک آف ڈسکشن از ڈرگ ڈسٹریبیوشن بلڈ فلو ہائیڈرو فوبیسٹی اینڈ ڈرگ پروٹین بائنڈنگ نیو آن مائی چینل پلیز سبسکرائب ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل اینڈ پریس دا بیل آئیکن بٹن What is drug distribution? Drug distribution is the process by which a drug reversibly leaves the blood stream and enters the interstitium, extracellular fluid and then the cells of the tissues. For a drug administered IV intravenous, when absorption is not a factor, The initial phase that is from immediately after administration through the rapid fall in concentration represents the distribution phase during which a drug rapidly disappears from the circulation and enters the tissues. This is followed by the elimination phase when drug in the plasma is in equilibrium with drug in the tissues. The delivery of a drug from the plasma to the interstitium primarily depends on cardiac output and regional blood flow, cap capillary permeability, the tissue volume, the degree of binding of the drug to plasma and tissue proteins and the relative hydrophobicity of the drug. Blood flow The rate of blood flow to the tissue capillaries varies widely as a result of the, uh, of the in, uh, unequal distribution of cardiac output to the various organs. Blood flow to the brain, liver, and kidney is greater than that to the skeletal muscles, adipose tissues, uh, skin, and viscera have still lower rates of blood flow. Variance in blood flow partly explains the short duration of hyp uh, hypnosis produced by a bolus IV injection of propofol. High blood flow together with the high lipid solubility of thiopental permits it to rapidly move into the central nervous system and produce anesthesia. A subsequent slower distribution to skeletal muscles and adipose tissues lowers the plasma concentration sufficiently so that the higher concentrations within the CNS decrease and thus consciousness is regained. Capillary permeability Capillary permeability is determined by capillary structure and by the chemical nature of the drug. Capillary structure varies widely in terms of the fraction of the basement membrane that is exposed by slit junctions between endothelial cells in the liver and spleen. A large part of the basement membrane is exposed due to large discontinuous capillaries through which large plasma proteins can pass. This is in contrast to the brain where the capillary structure is continuous and there are no slit, slit junctions. To enter the brain, drugs must pass through the, through the endothelial cells of the capillaries of the CNS or be actively transported. For example, a specific transporter for the large neutral amino acid transporter carriers carries levodopa into the brain. By contrast, lipid-soluble drugs readily penetrate into the central nervous system because they can dissolve in the membrane of the endothelial cells. Ionized or polar drugs gener generally fail to enter the CNS because they are unable to pass through, uh, pass through the endothelial cells of the CNS. 
which have no slit junctions. These tightly juxtaposed cells form tight junctions that can constitute the so-called blood-brain barrier. Binding of drugs to plasma proteins, tissue proteins, as well as high, uh, hydrophobicity. Binding to plasma proteins. Reversible binding to plasma proteins sequesters drug in a non-diffusible form and slows their transfer out of the vascular compartment. Binding is relatively non-selective regarding chemical structure and takes place at sites on the protein to which endogenous compounds such as bilirubin normally attach. Plasma albumin is the major drug binding protein and may act as a drug reservoir that is as the concentration of the free drug decreases due to elimination by metabolism or excretion. The bound drug dissociates from the protein. This maintains the free drug concentration as a constant fraction of the total drug in the plasma. Binding to tissue proteins. Numerous drugs accumulate in tissues, leading to higher concentrations of the drug in tissues than in the, in the extracellular fluids and blood. Drugs may accumulate as a result of binding to lipids, proteins, or nucleic acids. Drugs may also be actively transported into tissues. These tissue these tissue reservoirs may serve as a major source of the drug and prolong its actions or on the other hand can cause local drug toxicity. For example, acrolein, the metabolite of cyclophosphamide is toxic to the kidney because of its accumulation in renal cells. Last is hydrophobicity. The chemical nature of a drug strongly influences its ability to cross cell membranes. Hydrophobic drugs readily move across most biologic membranes. These drugs can dissolve in the lipid membranes and therefore permeate the, the entire cell surface. The major factor influencing the hydrophobic drugs distribution is the blood flow to the area. By contrast, hydrophilic do not readily penetrate cell membranes and must pass through the slit junctions. Our topic of discussion tomorrow will be volume of distribution, apparent volume of distribution and determination of volume of distribution. Thank you for watching my uh, this presentation. If you have any question, please write in the comment section below.